What is up guys, Jared Campisi, welcome back to the channel. The X Diavel is ready to be ridden and this is the X Diavel series. Today we've got some new stuff planned. Um, if you saw our last video, we weren't able to figure out a place to relocate the license plate. So we're gonna be having Trevor figure out how to put this bad boy on today. We're also gonna be installing the custom Louis Moto seat cover, which is gonna be sick. You can also save yourself some money by using code CAMPEASY on anything you order from them. Actually, I think you get free shipping on anything you order from them. Anyway, here's my GoPro setup. Here's this bad boy. Let's start up the X Diavel and let's get out of here. Just because it's everyone's favorite, let's get a cold start of a Ducati X Diavel S with a Terminoni system. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. sound of this thing is ridiculous um, we finally got a sunny day in Southern California it's been raining literally like five days a week for the past couple of weeks it never freaking rains in Southern California so it's so weird although we do need it everything's turning green which is super nice um, also the other thing I forgot to mention today I finally did put enough mileage on it that the uh, oil light come that came on which is actually the first service light so now I can finally have that reset uh, today as well along with doing the custom seat and finding a place to put the license plate So I'm riding with the license plate in my book bag right now. So hopefully uh, no cops Are unhappy about that and I can make it there safely. Manny has a big package coming um, Next week, so that I'm really really excited because that's gonna be a lot of stuff I've been waiting for for a long time. So yeah, man getting there and also people keep asking me about parts for this thing um, if you go on Moto Millions website, there was an X Diavel um, parts list on there. He's going to be listing everything that I got for this build. If you can't find it, just shoot Manny an email or on Instagram. You can call him or message him on Instagram or you know just let him know uh, you're watching my build. You're looking for parts. He can get you everything we got for this bike. So that's that. That's the community service announcement for today. Let's get over to the Ducati dealer and uh, get to work. All right, so we have arrived at the Ducati dealer. Um, I was just showing Trevor the uh, seat from Louis Moto. Louis Moto. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second. Um, we're looking at places to put the uh, license plate. Um, pretty much your only options are, I would say, here, right here. But I don't like that because it makes it feel like a Harley. Um, or underneath here. Trevor actually was saying you can't really like have it come down at all because this pushes all the way down and almost touches the fender when people are sitting on it hitting bumps bumps so you really can't put it like even like this like it has to be completely completely flush so we're gonna as you can see rup and i were trying to fit it down in here which is like almost perfect but we cut up the license plate anyway this will go away anyway the new owner will get their own license but um i think we're gonna try and do something just like right here just like just like that and then this will be good enough to get me through a month or two with it and the new owner can put it wherever they want so yeah, I just it's so annoying having to put, put license plates somewhere. And over here is okay too, but it's like all you see then is the, I don't know, we'll see what Trevor can do. All right, the man is at work. Nice catch. <laughs> He's gonna try and build something for us here. See what happens. So we'll be like that right there. So what we're thinking is he's gonna make a bracket that goes across. It'll use these two bolts here to bolt onto the bike, and then he can put the plate on that bracket on using those bolts there. And he'll make obviously cut it and make it look nice. You won't even see it by the time he's done. So look at this. He's got a protractor out. We're doing math. Here. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be doing math today at the Ducati dealer? <laughs> All right. Next step, we're gonna drill some holes here. He's checking the diameter of the bolts. I don't know why NRC used these bolts this big. It's actually quite ridiculous. And they also could have been recessed, so they sat in there flush. Little things like that. NRC, if you're watching, little things like that go a long way. I know some people don't care. Out the spacer. Right now, he's literally adding threads. And what he's going to do is make this threaded so that when we put the bolts through, he's going to chop off the bolt at the back so it sits flush. And then we should be able to keep everything up as close to the... Uh, Undertail of the bike as possible. You won't see anything off the backside. You'll be able to see the license and it should look really, really nice. But yeah, this stuff takes time. People always ask me why I don't do more custom stuff. 
what do you call these a custom build but you're not doing any you're just bolting on parts custom stuff takes forever guys it's very expensive I'm on a time frame with all my builds um, and I also have to pr try to be smart with the money that we're getting so yeah I wish I could do full custom builds but it's just that's difficult guys <laughs> So we've got the diagnostic tool hooked up right now and resetting the uh, first service code. But yeah, there's a little diagnostic tool. Is it done? And it tells us some of the faults, obviously because we don't have the uh, up map yet, which we're getting in the process of getting, and then stuff from unhooking the turn signals and things like that. So there you go. Nothing important, right? We're all good? Nothing important. Okay, excellent. The service light is off, which is also the oil light. Now we're good to go. Thank you, buddy. All right, so Trevor got everything all sorted out over there. He countersunk those screws as much as he could. And then obviously he chopped off all the excess that he could as well. It's just a little aluminum piece. Probably doesn't weigh very much at all. And now we can uh, attach the license plate and see how it looks. All right, so there you go, guys. There's the uh, finished product. It looks freaking awesome. Absolutely better than anything you can purchase. I looked at all kinds of different ones and this looks freaking sweet. Trevor did a great job and they can still see it too, so should be completely legal as well. So, sweet, I'm happy. And now the first thing you see is that big old tire instead of the license plate, which, which is how it should be. So up next, we'll move on to the seat. All right, so we ended up coming back another day. We ran out of time there the other day, um, but now we're gonna do the uh, seat here. I wanted to mention, uh, if you guys order anything through Louis Moto, you can use code CAMPEASY and they'll actually give you free shipping, which is pretty cool of them to do. Um, so, we went with a diamond stitching. This is for the rear, rear seat. I'm gonna put this on the rear seat. Uh, we went with silver stitching to match the uh, brushed steel tank to tie that in. Um, this is gonna be replaced with carbon um, once we get that in, but I still wanted to make sure that the seat matched the front seat for the new owner in case they ever do want to put a passenger on the back. They'll have that option. And then this seat kind of looks hilarious when it's not on the bike. Almost looks like a toilet seat. <laughs> but again, it's that diamond stitching um, with that uh, silver, silver color, which again is going to tie in that uh, brushed aluminum tank. And then I didn't do any embroidery on this one. And the reason for that is it actually has that XD oval. It already says XD oval on here. So I thought it would be weird to put extra writing up here. And I also figured let's do some uh, custom uh, writing on the tank since we're going to be repainting that. Maybe we'll write like XD oval R, Campisi edition or something like that on the tank. Uh, one of one or who knows. Um, we can discuss that once we get to the tank. So Trevor's already starting to remove some staples. And then uh, let's see what this looks like. So here's the bottom of the seat. Actually comes with some heat shielding on it, which is nice. Although I haven't felt any heat at all on this bike, which is a rare occurrence for a Ducati. Well, I guess anything other than the super bikes doesn't get that hot. But um, yeah, Trevor's just going through, removing all of the staples. There's a freaking lot of them. And then we're gonna pull this seat cover off and then swap over the new one. So I'm excited to see how this looks. All right, so we got one side off here. He's just gonna continue Completely. moving around. What is this, the little, uh, the little X Diablo symbol or whatever they put on there. Yeah, so that's what he's pulling off right now. Stapled in there, and then we'll pull that out. So interesting. This seat looks so funny when it's off the bike. <laughs> looks like a toilet seat. <laughs> so there you go, that's what the seat cover looks like when it's off. Look at that, I can't believe there's actual screws on there. That holds on the X Diablo sign on the other side. That is so wild. <laughs> so we're gonna transfer that over to the new one, huh? Looks like they have a spot for it. They cut out holes for it right there, which is nice. So now we're going to transfer it over to the new uh, seat cover here. It's such a weird way to attach something. It's, it's crazy to think that there's metal in the middle of your seat. Obviously there's a hole that it goes down in there so you don't feel it, but that's wild. So for anyone who gets these seat covers, if you're going to do it yourself, make sure you pull this through first, get a staple or two in on the backhand side, and then wrap around the seat cover from there. Look at how freaking badass this looks. And uh, the one issue I had with the stock seat was it was a little bit slippery. Now this is all Alcantari, and I think it's gonna grip a lot better. Fucking phenomenal. So there's actual little measurements there that show you exactly where the middle is. So you wanna start in the middle there and then work your way out. Same thing in the back. He's lining these up at, right in the middle, and then he's gonna work his way around each side, making sure he pulls them tight as he goes. Look at that. Another thing Trevor's doing a lot is caressing the seat and making sure that he's pulling it nice and around tight. He says a lot of the times he'll use steam, um, but he doesn't have a steamer with him today. 
Um, but luckily it looks phenomenal already. We only have two staples in, so really, really good job. Louis Moto makes great seats, so. And we got the seat master here. Trevor said he's made his own custom seats in the past too, so it's really cool to watch him work and see all these little tricks of the trade. Slowly working our way around here. Really taking our time, make sure it's centered and getting all the creases out. It's a time consuming process. You gotta really take your time and make sure that it looks nice. Trevor's doing a great job. All right, so I think we got this one all done, the main seat, and let me tell you guys, oh my God, it is gorgeous. Louis Moto did a phenomenal job. And this is actually a, a seat cover you can get through them. This is the stock one that they came up with, the stock design. The only thing I changed was the stitching color. I did that silver stitching to match the uh, brushed steel tank once we get there, but Trevor absolutely knocked it out of the park with that guy. Next, we're gonna start on the uh, back seat. So just repeating the process, pulling out all those little staples right there. And uh, this one should go a little bit quicker and hopefully be just a little bit easier. It's a little bit better shape just with that uh, half a circle kind of design there. Man, this looks so nice. I love diamond stitching. It's such a, just such a great design. So just like that, Trevor got the back seat cover off. It's so funny to see what they look like. Doesn't that look like a shark fin or something? Like the padding on these, it's just so, so weird. So this one's taking some serious finessing. It's a very oh. tight fit. And one thing that he did that was smart, he was just turning it inside out, trying to stretch it up to that corner there, and then pulling it back right side out from there. But yeah, this one is a tight fit, which is good because that'll take less finessing once we get it on, but whew, that's a lot, a lot of work. All right, you guys are gonna laugh at this. I'm gonna play it for Trevor. Too. Hey buddy, sorry to bother you. I just wanted you to know it's about this is my one dad. o'clock our time, so what? I don't know. Ten your time, eleven, I don't know. Just call and tell you you left the worst state in the fucking United States of America. Pennsylvania sucks dick. <laughs> fucking snow, sweet, freezing rain, three of them still on the fucking highway, the plows don't even try to get it. Accidents everywhere. This country, oh, country's great. I love you. That's hilarious. That's that's why we left Pennsylvania right there. And pops, I love and miss you too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. We're still stretching this seat over the rear passenger pillion. Trevor has the patience of a saint. <laughs> this was me. I would have thrown this thing against the wall and have been halfway through a six pack by now. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's over here still stretching this damn thing. <laughs> wow, he's so close. All right, so we've got it around, and now we're gonna start adding staples. Almost don't even need to put staples in there because it's so freaking tight, so. Just how we like them, huh, Trev? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just put them both on to see how it looks. It's absolutely phenomenal. Like, it makes the bike look so much more custom. I didn't think it was gonna be different enough. I was a little bit scared that I maybe should have done the whole thing diamond stitching, but I think it's perfect. What do you think, Trevor? You like it? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I like it. We were thinking about maybe removing this strap since no one's really gonna be sitting back here, but I think we'll just leave it for now because we're gonna be putting the carbon piece on here eventually anyway. So we'll take it off when we do that. Hell yeah, dude. I wanna go take some pictures of this bad boy. I love it. All right, so just rode down to the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Actually, it is a little bit chilly outside. And I'll tell you guys, uh, I can tell a difference with this seat. Look, you can see the outline of my ass. I don't know if you can see it because <laughs> of the suede. Um, it grips my ass a lot better. It's really nice. It actually gives me a little bit more uh, maneuverability since I'm not sliding around the seat so much. But man, look at that. It just looks so beautiful. It makes this, the bike look so much more custom. I absolutely love it. So. Yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I got a lot more parts coming. Um, of course, that that uh, custom license plate bracket that uh, Trevor made looks phenomenal. I absolutely love it. The seat, couldn't be happier with how that turned out. Oh, I'm just loving it, man. Some big things are coming, like the gas tank's gonna get completely repainted. We got carbon coming for all the white pieces. We got carbon wheels coming. Uh, the shock's gonna get painted, and I'm just really excited. All oh, the drag handlebars are on their way next week. This bike's really gonna start to take shape now and I'm super, super excited. So I hope you guys are too. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna enjoy a nice ride home here in Southern California where it's nice and sunny. 
<laughs> Shout out to my pops at home in shitty Pennsylvania and everyone else who's in cold weather. I hope these videos brighten your day just a little bit. And uh, that's gonna do it. If you wanna be entered to win this bad boy, make sure you check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Uh, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one.